Welcome back to another video. Today I have a top five list for you guys. Just gonna be giving you guys a bunch of different sneaker models that would be a good option if you guys are looking to save a little bit of money. Right now is an absolute great time in the market to go ahead and pick up some personals, maybe some shoes you were looking to get before, but you really didn't wanna pull the trigger on. But before we get too far into the video, if you guys could go down there, hit a like on the video, also subscribe to the channel, that'd be amazing. All right, so getting into the very first sneaker, we have the Jordan 1. Now I have a couple colorways I wanna talk about with you guys today, but if you have seen my YouTube shorts, maybe a couple of them here and there. You might have stumbled across this shoe right here. I have talked about it a couple times. It's going to be the Jordan 1 in the Brotherhood colorway. I like this shoe personally. Now, yes, it's not the most like wearable uh, colorway in the world, but it does, I promise, look better in person. And with the white laces, it is a bit easier to pull off, but you know, uh, it's definitely still, I guess, you know, to be honest, a hard shoe to wear. The quality on this shoe is absolutely amazing. The leather on the toe box is really, really nice, which is kind of surprising from Jordan brand now. But big thing about this sneaker is that you guys can go on StockX, and in my size, I can grab this sneaker for about 130 like six or 138 bucks which after fees tax and shipping is still under retail which is absolutely insane that you can literally just go buy this shoe on StockX or like goat or something like that and legitimately pay under retail because i paid like i think they were like 170 retail so i probably paid about 180 in some change for these uh, with my like state tax and everything so i think that's insane that you can actually go and pick this jordan one high you know, just a very basic colorway on StockX for that price. Now, another shoe we're gonna talk about is the Jordan 1 Craft. I'm gonna be really quick with this one because you guys have probably seen it. A lot of people are calling these bricks as well. I like these too, personally. Um, I really like the color scheme. I like what they got going on. I do remember back in the day when the Storm Blue Ones were sitting on shelves. I also remember like the Yin Yang pack of the Jordan 1 Highs were also sitting and a lot of people called those bricks as well. I know both those sneakers are pretty hard to get your hands on now. I think these are the same. Like I think the Jordan 1 goes through periods of people buying it and people, you know, not buying it. So I think if you guys are just looking to add some regular Jordan 1 highs to your collection, add these right now. You might even be able to find these in stock some places, but I probably honestly doubt that. I'm gonna leave the honorable mention as well to the Jordan 1 low in this gray. Um, I think they're technically called the shadows, but um, I believe these are still available for only like 140 to 150 on GOAT and StockX like that, which is still a fairly good price. I think these are gonna rise for sure. All right, so a couple more honorable mentions before we go into the next one on the list. I think the Jordan 1 chenilles are the nostalgia. It's like that red colorway with like the um, patch as a swoosh. I think those are definitely another good sneaker to get. Those are under retail and you might be able to find those in stock online. I believe I had another one. Yeah, the dark marina blues. If you guys are still looking to cop those, those are still under retail go grab those right now if you want them to wear personally i'm not a huge fan of like the black and the blue combo but if you are go grab them now because those are going to be hard to get to eventually let's go ahead and get to the number two sneaker on the list i have this as the blazer mid the og black and white one now those are under retail on stock x right now um which they have been for a really long time now the blazer that i wanted to talk about though in this video because i am not a huge fan of like the basic blazer i have the blazer in the jumbo like type I don't really know what I guess there's called the jumbos, but I have them in the UNC colorway and this shoe is super clean Now I wear these to the gym But I actually just started wearing these out and it looks good as like a casual sneaker Especially kind of like in this loose unlaced look like I like this shoe a lot and honestly as I started wearing them more I did like how they looked with like cargos or like other types of like pants honestly super underrated shoe And yes, it's not for everyone especially with that like rugged bottom, but I still like it uh, this shoe actually I copped on finish line using my status coupon and free shipping So these only came to like under a hundred dollars like 95 or 96 I think on finish line which is such an affordable and great price and I know this UNC colorway can go out of stock Sometimes you might still be able to find this colorway on StockX for you know barely under retail but just keep an eye on our finish line guys i just copied these on the app like you guys know if you're a sneaker ad how hard it is to cop on the finish line app next on the list you guys were probably expecting this we have dunks now i have three colorways of dunks i've got them all on the nike app for retail first and foremost if you guys are consistent on the nike app and you have you know a couple accounts here and there because you can make a couple for yourself by like you know jigging your address and stuff by the way if you guys want to check out how you can do that and uh how i get all of my you know dunks that i have for 
retail, make sure to go check out that video. Um, I'll have it linked above too. But yeah, it's taken me a while. I lost like for a very long time on the pandas until, you know, like my sixth or seventh time going for drops, I ended up getting my size. I was able to hit the UNC dunk low drop pretty recently too. Um, there's like a shock Nike drop. They loaded it up like 10 minutes early. Um, I was able to hit those. So I explained all of that in that video. But anyway, the dunk low, it, it's just a very simple shoe. You guys shouldn't be paying over retail for any colorway of this shoe. The quality is not great. You guys can see on literally all my pairs, they're pretty creased and I honestly like don't even wear them like that much, but it's just a very like basic and comfortable kind of shoe to put on. I mean, it's not comfortable by any means, but once you break them in and I've kind of wear them loose, like they're not, they're not bad. It's a great back to school shoe, especially with all like the simple colorways they have. Getting into the next sneaker. Now I don't have like the budget ones in hand, unfortunately. I'm more of a dunk low type of person, but if you guys like dunk highs, there've been a ton that Nike have been releasing recently. They released like the noble greens. They released a all UNC colorway, which kind of sat for a little bit too. And then they released the panda highs, which are currently sitting at pretty much all of the malls around me. I'm pretty sure they're sitting on Nike too. Don't quote me on that. But if you guys want a pair of uh, Dunk Highs, go out and get a pair. I don't know if they're going to always be available. Don't know if Nike's always going to keep dropping these like very simple Dunk High colorways. But um, the only pair that I have, I kind of wanted a unique pair. So I got these Supreme Dunk Highs so by any means necessary or whatever they're called. I like these. I just was uh, up during the Supreme drop and these were pretty easy to get manually off the site and they're really still not going for like a crazy amount on StockX or GOAT. So honestly, this itself ain't a bad like purchase right now. Like I think they're under $200 on the aftermarket. So yeah, if you guys wanna go pick them up, do it right now, I would highly suggest. Then the final sneaker on the list, um, I literally have on my feet right now, we have the Onyx Slides, another shoe that is a lot cheaper than I thought they were gonna be after drop, but StockX has a ton of sales for this shoe. This shoe, if you guys want easy slide if you guys have never tried a easy slide this is like the only easy that i own i actually don't even own that many yeezys go buy this right now it matches with everything it's very cheap on the aftermarket right now go buy this shoe right now it's so comfy and it matches with everything i i think i've been saying the same things over again but like i just thought this colorway was going to do so much better than it did um on the aftermarket but yeah that's a good thing for you guys who want to go out there and wear your shoes i think that's going to wrap up the video i would appreciate it again if you guys could just go down there hit a like on the video Again, if you guys want to check out that video on how to cop on the Nike and sneakers app, I will have it linked in the description. I will also have it pinned in the comments. If you guys want to go down there, like the video first, and then click on that video and watch that. That would be awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.